Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want the Shadow Midas skin for free. The Four Nightmares 2021 event trailer is going to absolutely blow your minds. And I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about this Halloween update coming from a load of new mythic weapons. So many free rewards, a portion of the trailer and much, much more. So make sure you guys are watching to the very end because I'll also be hiding a V-Buck code within today's video as well. So make sure you guys are watching through to find this code. 88% of you watching this right now are not subscribed to the channel which means you're missing out on a free gift from me as I do give five of my most loyal subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video turn on all notifications and leave a comment with the epic ID in the comment section below and remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself please do consider using my support credit code xamples56 in the item shop as it does help me out a lot it does help me out do more giveaways for you guys hashtag ad hope you guys do go to enjoy the video though but let's get into it So guys, last week we received an update, but it actually wasn't the Halloween update as we all thought, as we only really got skins, but tomorrow is going to be the Halloween update, as it has now been added into the staging servers, starting off with all the new Halloween weapons. For this year's Halloween event, we're going to be seeing some brand new, insane new weapons come from Mythic weapons and new legendary weapons, as the new Symbiote weapons have now been removed from the game. Unfortunately, I really did like these how they're in, but now we're getting tuned up for the Halloween stuff coming from a sideways scythe which is literally like the infinity blade coming with health siphon so health upon kill which we've not seen in the game for absolutely ages a jump attack a dash attack a smash attack and a charge attack which is going to be really really cool I'm excited to see the sideways siphon game and also the sideways shotgun that's been leaked since the start of the season and you can actually get these from defeating a brand new boss called the caretaker there's going to be three of these caretakers wandering around around the map and they're going to be dropping 50 cube shards new mythic weapons heals and stuff like that is going to be really really cool i'm extremely excited for the caretaker to come into the game but also we have a brand new combat assault rifle in game as it did win the war effort vote a couple days ago and it, it's definitely the most overpowered gun that we've seen in a while bro it is ridiculous if you tap fire this thing, oh, it's 100% broken. It's insanely, insanely OP. But we're also going to be seeing all the old Halloween weapons come back as well, including the pumpkin launcher. But I do wonder if we'll be seeing the ghost henchman return from last year. Because as you guys know, if you defeated a ghost henchman, it guaranteed you a green pumpkin launcher. So I wonder if we're going to be seeing the ghost henchman back. But we'll also be finally seeing the shadow drum gun return as well. As in the latest update, Shadow Midas got updated within the game files, giving him a brand new new reactive skin style which looks like we'll be seeing him as a Fortnite mayor reward as well this year thank god i do think he should have came out last year but it looks like we'll also be seeing him come back as a boss as well with his new mythic drum gun this isn't confirmed but it's just updated in the game file so i'm guessing it's going to be coming back but talking about shadow midas leads us on to all of the free rewards this year and boy there are some insane free rewards first off coming from the Fortnite mayor rewards the cube cruiser glider which is like for the geometric skin, the Batty Wrap, the Rayful Breakout Contrail, and the All Weather Extractor Pickaxes. All of these are the ones we know so far. We'll most likely be seeing some within the next update as well. We'll also be seeing a brand new skull version of Piggy Smalls, which looks really, really cool. And also the new Thinking Juice Bat Bling, which I think looks insane. I'm very, very excited to get this Bat Bling. Much better than last year's Bat Bling. Yeah, we're not going to talk about last year's challenges. And all of these challenges will be getting released tomorrow which are going to be fairly easy to complete so you guys don't need to worry about that too much but I'm very very excited to unlock all of these Fortnite Mare rewards. Fortnite Mare is easily some of the best challenges we ever get and now we have a major map change coming for this Halloween being Cube Town. As you guys know all of the cubes have been wandering around the map trying to locate the middle of the map and now they have found their way there. They're all surrounding the aftermath with the golden cube hovering in the middle electrocuting the water for some reason but in a couple of hours or within the next 12 hours, I imagine the golden cube will start electrocuting all of the purple cubes as she did awaken them and now she's going to be creating cube town which looks sick. All of these cubes are going to be combined into one huge POI with the golden cube in the middle with a load of jump pads which are made of the cubes which is really really cool and once this is in game we'll finally be seeing the reveal of the queen cube skin as well which is going to be amazing and all of her rewards will be coming out within the 
next week. I am so hyped for it, bro. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But in the game files, Hypex has found there is an unreleased IO spawn location slash base codenamed IOB. And there's also an unreleased unmasked version of the IO guard and an IO skin with 800 V-Bucks. We could finally be seeing the IO guard skin come into the game when Dr. Sloan finally reaches the bunker within the next one to three updates. If you guys haven't been keeping track of Dr. Sloan, she's been making her way from like the top near Dirty Docks all the way to the reactive bunker near Catty Corner. She's almost there and once she is there, we're most likely going to be seeing her come back out within season nine with a load of new gadgets. Because Fortnite did give out a survey a couple weeks ago and in the survey there was a snowed out Dr. Sloan, which I imagine is going to be within the season nine battle pass. And within this battle pass, we're most likely going to be seeing some insane skins as well. I'll keep you updated on all the leaks that we do get on them. But this snowed out Dr. Sloan skin will most likely be coming out in season nine and that's when we'll most likely be seeing dr sloan come onto the map again but yeah once she does reach the reactive bunker we'll most likely be seeing an io guard skin come into the game as well which is going to be really really cool i'm very very excited for that i'm not gonna lie it's going to be absolutely amazing i pro probably think it's one of the nicest skins we've seen i'm not gonna lie the io guard does look absolutely amazing and now it's time for the four nightmares 2021 trailer this concept was made by community gaming that looks absolutely outstanding standing and also i'm going to be leaving a little snippet of what io prod on twitter did make bro it's actually insane hopefully you guys do want to enjoy this brand new trailer and hopefully you guys did enjoy all of the brand new leaks about the fortnite mares event it's going to be crazy remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's app shop for yourself please do consider using my support or credit code xables 56 in the item shop as it does help me out a lot it does help me out do more giveaways for you guys hashtag ad hope you guys do want to enjoy the trailer though but let's get into them